Hi, my love, beautiful soul, mystic rules of love and love, and I'm back with you, bringing dark into light. This is timeless reason. Please take what resonates, and you who does not surveil us, collect reading now, purchase reading. Thank you to everyone liking, sharing, subscribing my channel. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. I love you, and I'm Matt. It's not for you guys, for the most high, so thank you so much. If you're new, hit the like button, share, subscribe, and subscribe, notified. What, Cherry? Okay, make one then. No, I'm right here. I'm doing this. So, sorry. Cherry was yelling at me. So, and that, that's that's confirmation here too with uh, the message I'm putting out. Okay. So, the I was just pushing Cherry, you know. And I was hearing that there is a vindictive B-I-T-C-H. Okay. Vin, vindictive B-I-T-C-H. Yeah. That has been literally trying to block you from doing whatever you need to do okay has been trying to stop your work okay this person could be trying to copy your stuff take your stuff whatever you're doing trying to trying to keep you distracted trying to keep you away from what you're meant to do okay is trying to keep you extra busy than normal okay so i put a reading out a couple of days ago it was yesterday i don't remember it was, it was sunday i think it was Sunday, so two days ago i put on like things are gonna be changing and stuff and like you've been overworked and um oh something's been overworked you're being overworked because there's somebody that's been doing spell work, okay? There's somebody that does not like you, okay? That does not like what you're doing, okay? Whatever you're doing, okay? I am hearing some of you guys have a platform, okay? You are an influencer on social media. It could be Instagram. It could be YouTube. It could be TikTok. If it could be Snapchat, whatever it is, okay? Social media platforms. You have something you're putting out, and they don't like it. They don't like that you're delivering messages. They don't like that you're sharing your content. They don't like that you're sharing your work. Because I'm not just getting, like, tarot readers or uh, someone like me. I'm getting, like, you know, there's something that you're you're creating, okay? There's people out there, like, make make jewelry, okay? Or make, you know, holistic things. They do their paintings. You know, YouTube has so much stuff, like, you can... Uh, there's so much that gives them content, okay? There's education content, there's entertainment content, there's, there's you know, blogging, there's vlogs. It, it's whatever you're doing, they don't like. They don't want you to do it, and they're being vindictive about it, okay? I was getting female energy, but it could be a man too, okay? Men can get very vindictive too, okay? Especially when there's men that are female energy, okay? I'm not trying to, you know, pinpoint certain people, but I know that there's a few men... Um, gay and bisexual men that have more of a feminine energy that get very jealous easily and very vindictive when it doesn't go their way or something's not um, what they like, okay? Or they don't like somebody, okay? Um, they just embody a lot of feminine energy, which is, you know, jealous, envy. Men get jealous too, but more of a, you know, the vindictive energy, okay? And they're really, really trying to stop you, okay? This person keeps trying to stop everything you're doing, okay? If you're starting a project, if you're, if you're, even if you, even if you're not doing content creating and you have a job, okay? Because I'm hearing like something like a presentation, okay? Or a meeting, or you know, you, you're getting together with other people, collaborating with other people at like even a, a, a office job, you know? Because there's there's a lot of people that are in the office jobs that work behind the scenes, so you know. They don't like that you're doing something, okay? They're, they're trying to keep you distracted. They're trying to keep you busy. They're trying to keep you doing something different, okay? And the reason I was saying that was confirmation because when I just started doing the reading, again, Cherry started saying, come make a sandcastle with me, okay? I've been playing with her. I was playing in the water. I was just pushing on the swing. Um, I took her for a walk. You know, I'm not stopped doing something with her. And that was a confirmation because it seems like every time I go do something, uh, there's a distraction, okay? That somebody is literally trying to cause a distraction. And it's not Cherish's fault, okay? So... And you may not even have children, okay? You may not have children. You may have other things that you may um, end up having to do or something, you know, you have responsibilities for. But this person is trying to take what's yours and trying to, because I'm going to take what's yours, possibly trying to copy you to plagiarizing, plagiarizing, plagiarizing. Cherry, I can't see you no more. I know you're over there. They're copying your work too. They they're jealous. They're just jealous. They don't want you. They don't want you to be doing this. They do not want you to be doing what you're doing, whatever it is. You may have more than one job. You may have several jobs. You may have like you know the hustling, um, where you hu hustle. Okay, not like street hustle, but I mean like you know you have your main job, your nine to five job. You go to office, and then you go home and you do something else, or you have a side job. You know, a side hustle. That's what I mean, like a side hustle. Okay, you could be doing other things too. Somebody sells products, okay, for like Avon or Mary Kay or like uh, Jafar, you know, um, it could be Tupperware too or um, Sense, is it Sensi's? 
Sunsies, you know, where they do the wax melts, candles, and stuff like that. Sunsies. Uh, baking goods, too. Something sounds like baking goods or like uh, Tupperware, like um, chef stuff, okay? Like uh, pots and pans. They're, they're trying to block that from you being able to, you know, uh, push your business out there, okay? Promote your business. Somebody's, so try, somebody's been trying to stop your promotion or somebody's been trying to block your promotions, your marketing, your advertising, whatever it is. They, they, they're doing everything possible. And this could be spell work. This also could just be them thinking it, okay? There are people out there, um, our mind is so powerful, okay? And when this negative, vindictive bitch is over and over thinking, you know, wishing ill on somebody and wishing somebody have a downfall. That's what I mean. Is wishing you a downfall. Okay. Wanting you to have a downfall. They do not want you to succeed. They don't want you to have success. They don't want you to have opportunities. They want, that's what they're trying. This is what happening too, is they're trying to have you have missed opportunities. Okay. Having missed opportunities. I know that this can, I'm going to say this would resonate with me a little bit because I know every time I try to do a reading or I'm trying to do my work that I need to do, something always gets interrupted. Okay. Something I, I'm getting calls to go to this appointment. I'm getting calls to help with this thing, this situation, this situation, and it's like nonstop. Okay, nonstop. Um, having me have to do more things, and I, that's what I'm getting for you too. Okay, collective. I'm getting that this is happening to you. You maybe you maybe getting getting ready to sit down and like working on a presentation or getting sit, ready to sit down and you know creating content or editing your content or you know making you know someone had you know, a small small business like me too. Okay, online business, and you're you know creating that things or you know you're on your phone or your computer and you're doing your descriptions you're you know you're doing you're doing your work and then all of a sudden something happens okay kids crying kids screaming you're getting phone calls your phone's acting up your computer's acting up it's shutting off your battery's getting hot your battery's getting wants to die okay um banging on the door your doorbell's ringing okay somebody's knocking on your freaking office door you know somebody's interrupting you you can't get into your emails you can't get into this stuff all these little things that this is the enemy okay this is this vindictive bitch okay she is your enemy okay she or he is your enemy and they're literally so vindictive that they're going to continue they're, they're, they're trying to do it until they destroy you until they block your downfall okay until you have a downfall but it's not going to work okay it's not going to work it's not going to work. Okay. It is going to be stressful. It does take a, uh, damper on your, on your daily schedule, you, whatever. Um, you may take a hit for a minute, you know, um, because of it, but everything that they're doing, everything this person's doing, it's only causing more karma in their life. Okay. Causing, it's going to cause more stress, more drama, more chaos in her or his life. Okay. Just remember what you do onto others comes back onto you. You have a negative, if you have a negative thought on somebody, it's going to be a negative thought on you. So if you're wishing ill on somebody, you're wishing somebody dead, that it's going to, somebody's going to wish it on you. Okay. Something's going to happen to you. If you're wishing somebody not to be successful in their life to fall apart, because that's what I'm hearing, then their life's going to fall apart. Okay. Yeah. Like, look at this is word. Okay. Page of wands here. This is a, an envy, vindictive individual. Okay. This is a very envy, vindictive in person, human being. I don't want, I almost don't even want to call this person a human being. Because I feel like this person, a human being is supposed to be kind and loving and caring. Okay? It's not supposed to be vindictive and envy and hateful and disrespectful. Spreading rumors, causing chaos, drama in your life. Yeah, this is, this is, this is doing dark magic with the Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody doing dark magic, okay? This is so many dark, dark practices. Cherish, can you do it? Do you need my help? Hold on, you guys. Sorry, she. Yeah, okay. She wanted to climb up the thing. Is she's still too short for it? Okay. So yeah, they. This person is wanting to cause you not feel like stress. This person trying to cause you to stress out. Okay, that's why. Okay, this is spirit. This is this vindictive bitch is. She is, what was the word? Oh my gosh, just lost my train of thought, see? Okay, could be making you try to lose, lose your train of thought, okay? Make you forget something. Okay, so she's trying to cause you stress, anxiety, okay? Make you feel like you, you're not doing well enough or not doing good, okay? Make you feel like homeless, you know, that you, you're not going to be succeeding and stuff. And then this is going to happen to her too, okay? 
this is this is stressing you out this is causing some anxiety okay because all this extra stuff like you're just wanting to get your stuff done you just want to have you know successful you know successful business successful life successful job career that you love to do because i'm hearing you'd love to do it okay you could love to do it um and you're just you're sick of these roadblocks okay that's what i'm hearing too and that's what she's wanting to do she or he's literally doing this okay spiritual warfare that's what i'm saying this is spiritual warfare okay and a spiritual attack on your psych so she's trying to not just do that she's trying to mess with your psych right here she's trying to mess with your psych and what's gonna happen it's gonna backfire and it's gonna mess up with her psych okay she's got some psychological issues she doesn't yeah i just keep hearing she or he doesn't want you to be successful You're a magician here. This magician here, this is you able to manifest, is able to create. See, so you're, you're creating something. Okay? We are supposed to be creative. We're supposed to be very creative. Okay? Creative beings. And she doesn't want you to be creative. She or he. I keep saying she, so it could be her. Um, She or he doesn't want you to be creative. Okay? She's trying to block your creativity. So she could be so doing, she could be doing sacral chakra um, work. Okay? Sacral chakra work is where she's trying to make it so you're not creative. Trying to keep you from your pentacles. She's trying to keep you from your blessings, your money, your abundance, what's meant for you. Yeah, she's blocking you. She's trying to block everything here. Block your life, block this, block that, okay? It's every time like you turn around. It seems like every time you turn around and get ready to do something, um, something happens. Mad Hatter. March Have. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like every time you get ready to do something, something you love to do, or your job, or like I said, like because I keep getting some kind of presentation or some kind of work. Okay, some kind of work or presentation that you're doing. Okay, your hobbies, whatever. And she's literally trying to block you from doing that, making you have to do something else. So this can be an example here. So I'm gonna give an example. Okay. So say you're in the middle of a project at home or at work. Okay, your email project, and all of a sudden, I don't want to say this. Say you have kids, okay, or animals. Okay, we're going to say animals or kids. And you're doing a project, okay, so most likely you're at home, you're doing something you need to do, you need to get done, you want to get done, okay, you're in the middle of it, you're enjoying it, whatever, and then somebody gets hurt, okay, you're, something about your animal gets hurt, or you know what I mean, like, or your kid. Okay, or something happens in your home, something happens, and then you have to stop doing what you're doing in the middle of it. This is that person, okay? They're literally trying to stop you, block you, okay? So, I didn't want to say that because I'm saying this to my kid, and, like, I don't want her to end up getting hurt with bark, you know? Um, because, you know, that can happen. I'm, I'm getting a feeling, like, that's what she or he's trying to do, is trying to make it so, like, somebody's hurt or something has to come up, okay? So, again, like, if you don't have anything scheduled, then you're literally... So, it kind of brings me back to when I work and I had a job, okay? I had clients, okay? And I had to have, I was scheduled, I had to do something. I had to get it done. And then they come interrupt intentionally when they knew I had to get it done. And that's what I'm getting, like, it's a psychic attack and they're trying to stop you so you can't get this done, so you cannot get paid or you can't do this, you can't do that, okay? And, again, this, this, you could be a create content, con, create a uh, content, uh, blah, 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 see, content creator. But I'm not, I'm, I'm just getting farming too, okay? Somebody loves farming and like maybe you deal with animals, okay? And like everything's going well and then all of a sudden like a horse gets hurt. Okay, something happens. And like now like you can't... Somebody could be... A, they ride horses. Now they can't ride this horse because this horse has been hurt. Okay, that's somebody blocking you, okay? Stop you and my phone just beeps. Okay. So yeah, if, you, if you're a horse rider or a ranch or something like that... Maybe you do videos of recording horses too. Animals. Somebody does a lot of editing. Okay, somebody does a lot of editing. Okay, somebody's messing with that. Be nice, Terry. Okay, I just said be nice. So somebody needs to start playing nice. Okay, this person doesn't play nice. Okay, if you work with this person, they're not playing nice, okay? That's what I'm hearing. This person's not playing nice with you. This person's going behind your back, backstabbing you, okay? Being sneaky as F. Sly. 
Cause yeah, somebody literally, somebody you work in the department with somebody in this department, and like they're they're being sneaky, trying to keep your life balanced out. Okay, we have the two cups. This is you juggling back and forth too. Okay, there's a lot you have to do, and like you're trying to keep balance, trying to you know keep peace too. I'm getting like you know keep that peace, juggling back and forth. By them doing this to you, you're gonna have a wishful fulfillment. Okay, there's there it's gonna be easier. There's going to be some kind of beautiful blessing for you, okay? Okay? Dreams come true. Okay, success here. There will be something for you. It's just, I'm hearing just wait. Okay, this person's been trying to cause tower after tower in your life, okay? Moments. They're going to have a tower moment. Yeah, they're going to have a tower. Somebody's house is going to crumble down, okay? It's falling apart. They're too worried about you and others and themselves. They need to start worrying about their own life, their own career, their own purpose, their own projects. Because they're getting, okay, so they're getting behind in their own projects because they're so worried about yours. Now they're getting behind in their duties, their responsibilities. Yeah, this person keep a secret. This person being hidden. Something hidden from you. Okay. <laughs> Crying over spilled milk. Depressed. Depressed. Stressed. You're better than them, okay? You do better than them, like, because it comes from the heart. It's because you're creative. Like, it's your own style. Okay, it's your own style. They have to copy you. They have to copy others. They can't do their own thing. The devil. We have Capricorn coming out here. Yeah, see, because you're like, see, that's what they're trying to do. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay. We have Capricorn too. Time's running out. The devil, okay. This person's controlled by the devil, okay. This is some kind of greed. Okay, but we have this Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the Death, and this Ten of Pentacles. So this person, you've been working really hard, and this person's been uh, and then Five of Pentacles. This person has um, has a secret agenda, hidden agenda, and is trying to sabotage your business, your success. Okay, whatever you're doing, if it isn't to do with this, it's trying. They're trying to um, sabotage your relationship as well. Okay, or your your family situation. Okay, uh, is what I'm getting here because there's something about you work really really hard. Okay, for what you have. Um, and it's spirit saying, um, no, this is coming to a death or an ending. With a death. Okay, this is the ending. Okay, spirit's going to stop this once and for all. Okay, the light, the candle's being blown out. The magic's being blown out. Okay, whatever magic they're doing, they're not going to be able to do it anymore. Drink me, eat me. And then the Ten of Pentacles, you're going to have this sudden wealth, okay? You're going to be abundant. You're going to have success. You're going to have it. I'm just kidding, this is like a disgusting energy. Like, you know, anyone that's addictive or jealous or envy and trying to stop somebody from being successful and trying to stop somebody from, like, really being creative and doing their job and, like, loving what they're doing, that that's just a cruel, rude, mean person, okay? Again, you have a lot of strength. Oh, shit, hold on. Seven of Swords is a hidden agenda, secret agenda. I thought it was a Swords. It must have been the Wands. Wands, okay. Yeah, okay, so I Wands. Okay, yeah, Okay, so even the even the swords, so the seven of swords, seven of wands, they had a hidden agenda, secret agenda. This is them causing challenges and obstacles in your lives, in your life. Okay, and you keep fighting back. Okay, you keep giving, you keep going, like going, and you don't give up. Even every every time you get attacked, because again, there's that strength card because you don't give up. That's why the strength came out. Trying to shake things up in your life. Okay, they're trying to shake your life up. Okay. This could cause you emotions. Be emotional. You're supposed to be a service to others, okay? Is what I'm getting to. You're supposed to be helping others, giving back. Okay, this person does not give back. Yeah. You're a hard worker. Be a mom or dad to a parent. Successful. Entrepreneur. Okay, entrepreneur. Someone, you, you do a lot, like I said, side hustles. A lot of things. They're trying to keep you from this. By you knowing about this is what's going to actually, being aware of this, is what's going to stop this person from even actually coming at you anymore. Like, 
you, you just got to be aware um, of it, okay? And try to stay pa patient and balanced throughout the situation, okay? Whatever is being thrown at you, try to stay calm. Try to stay patient. Try or keep patience, okay? Try not to, you know, overreact because that's what they want. This person wants you to overreact, okay? They want to keep you. They want something about bondage, okay? They're in bondage and they're trying to keep you in bondage, trying to keep you stuck, trapped. Don't want you to get out. Don't want you to go farther in life, okay? Don't want you to, because I'm hearing like they don't want you to grow. Grow your channel. Grow your business. Trying to stop you from growing. Expanding. I'm hearing you're supposed to be expanding. You're going to be getting some kind of high honor here. Okay, high ranked, high honor. Rewarded recognition. Yeah, they're manipulative. Ice King, manipulative. Cold hearted. Vindictive again. I just keep hearing the word vindictive. You know what? I'm going to check something out. Stay over here, Cherry. Okay, vindictive. Having or showing a, a strong or unreasoning desire for revenge. Okay? Vindictive person means likely to seek revenge. Vindictive person intent to cause pain or anguish or, um, in someone's life. Spiteful. Okay, what's the difference between spiteful and um, vindictive? Vindictive does not imply action necessary, but stress stresses the unforgiving nature of avenger. This person has a, a revengeful spirit, okay? Things that could be cruel, malicious, malicious, vengeful, vicious, revengeful, hateful, hostile, hostile, and petty. A strong desire to get back at someone. People who grow hold a grudge and seek revenge are full of addictiveness. See, that's the person who says, this person holds a grudge, okay? Holds in resentment. Malicious, okay, that, that malicious, that, I heard that before, this malicious person. Intent, malicious intent. So this person did everything to do to destroy you, to to make you have a downfall. That brings close really good when I said that. Manipulation. You're supposed to be a rich girl. This person's going to end up going to jail. Trying to cause you emotional pain, they're going to have emotional pain. You stepped into your divinity. Causing a, nail, a false narrative in your life. Okay, you're divine. You're divine. Okay. You could be sad about this too. This could. This could hurt you. This could. You know, especially when you're working really, really hard and like everything's going well, and then all of a sudden you're in the middle of a project, and then like something happens. You know, like I've been turning my phone off. Trying to turn my phone off. Turn my phone off. And like, but there's other things going on in my life. Today I was making body butter. For example, I was making damn body butter. And you know, when I make body butter, I just need everyone to leave me the fuck alone. Okay? I need everyone to leave me alone. I, like when I do my stuff. And I have my stepfather, I'm not trying to be mean to him, but my stepfather call, telling me, I need to do this, I need to do this, he needs this, this. And his immigration lawyer saying, or immigration um, person says that he, we need to go up to the cities today. And I go, we just can't go up there today. What the fuck does he think? Okay, I'm, I'm giving you an example. Like, literally, you guys, that's what's going on in my life. Okay, this could be happening to you. Okay, this could be an example. Okay, this is a good example. I'm going to say this right now. I'm in the making body butter. Okay, body butter is not easy. Okay, it's not easy. I love doing it, but it's a process. Okay, and I just want everyone to freaking leave me the frick alone. Okay, but I have a small apartment, small house, but I have to get this done. Okay, I need to get this done because it was. I have a request. Okay, I have a request for um, my Hawaiian bliss. Body butter. It's butt, it butt naked and you're making me crazy. If you're interested in it, let me know. I have extra today. Um, I'll put my shop. It's um, Hawaiian Bliss, okay? And I also made um, my Unicorn Sparkle, okay? Uh, 
and I made a lemon and lavender, okay? I don't know my name that yet, but lemon and lavender. So I make this stuff, and he he's getting calls saying that we need to get to the city today, okay? I live two hours from Minneapolis Twin Cities, okay? Uh, from where cities are, okay? I have one car, one car, okay? I also have to get my husband and my daughter to work, okay? I also have to take care of Cherish, okay? I'm going to give you an example, okay? Because this just happened to me today. This is what I'm getting, like, with you, okay? I don't want my cards to blow away. Um... Because it's why I'm this is a situation for somebody else, but a different situation, okay? And he's like, "Well, you need to get up here right now. You need to get up here right now. We, there was no set time for this, okay? You know, I'm already pushing to help my stepfather because like he has nowhere to go, and like extra thing. I already have my 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 three year old, my sixteen year old, my husband, okay, and then myself to take care of, okay? Some of you are gonna be like, "Oh, boo hoo hoo, screw you if you're saying boo hoo hoo, okay? Um, I'm a busy person, okay?" So, screw you if you think, boo-hoo, I'm whining, I'm not. I'm just giving you an example, okay? Because it's what's happening, okay? And he's like, I have to go up there today. I'm like, I can't take you today. I just can't take you today. It's freaking 11 o'clock, and he's telling us to come up there now. It's a two-hour drive. I have responsibilities. I have to get my, you know? He's like, and then he calls back. He says, I, we need to take him up there tomorrow. I go, I can't fucking take him up there tomorrow. I'm getting pissed. Like, I'm getting mad. I'm not trying to get mad at my stepfather. I'm getting mad at this dude, okay? He's a fucking asshole. His name's Jose, okay? He's an asshole. Arrogant asshole and, like, he's a, a straight asshole, okay? He is not divine at all, okay? He has an evil spirit to him. An evil spirit because, like, mm, he wasn't supposed to go up there at all, okay? And there's no reason for him to go up there. So, he goes, you have to be up here tomorrow. I go, Tony, we can't take tomorrow. Mike has surgery tomorrow. Okay? Mike has fucking surgery tomorrow. There's no way I can take you. We have one car. I got to take my husband there. I got to be there for him. And then, so he calls him back. He goes, well, you need to be up here Friday. I go, I can't take you Friday, Tony. Carmi and Church, or Carmi and Mike both work on Friday. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this stuff. Because he doesn't have a license. He don't have a car. There's no transportation to get up there. Two hour drive. And, hey, well, you got to call him back. I'm going to take you, the only time I can take you is Thursday morning. It has to be Thursday morning. And so he called him back. He didn't want, the guy didn't want us to have Thursday morning. But that is an attack, okay? Finally got it Thursday morning. And, but it was me being in order for two hours, just going back and forth, calling this, this guy, coming back and forth. For two hours, my whole time, while I'm doing my body butters, I'm supposed to be at peace. I'm supposed to be, you know, getting my stuff done, okay? And not being interrupted and all this other extra stuff. And sure shit, that's what happened, okay? So that could be happening in your life, okay? That's what I'm talking about, like, appointments. This is a, this. I, I, it's happening to me, okay? It is happening to me, but I know it's not just happening to me, it's happening to you guys as well. Okay, it's happening to you as well, okay? Um, this fucking dude can just go fuck off, that's what I'm gonna say, okay? I'm not, I, you know, like, I'm just so irritated. His, his federal probation officer says we shouldn't even have to be doing this shit. And that's the FBI's probation, okay? That's the federal probation saying we shouldn't even have to be doing this shit. He's already on FBI probation. Like, there's no reason we should have to have this too, have to go to the cities. They should be coming down here. Like, he doesn't drive. He doesn't have a license. Like, he, we shouldn't have to do that. They should be coming to us, you know? It's stupid. So, this is the kind of things that can be happening in your life. It can be something simple, too. Where you're going to call and you need to go take care of your kid. Or you go pick up your kid or your mom or your dad or your father, okay? Or something. Or something happens, you know? Or it's summer right now, so it's hard to say, oh, hey, you need to go pick up your kid from school. But they're literally trying to cause this. They're trying to cause you stress out, emotional pain. This person is, is going to get locked up, Okay? They're going to get locked up. Causing a false narrative. They could be lying too, okay? Call it lying, okay? On your on your behalf. Get a couple more and then I got to end this. I don't even know what the time it is. Okay, again. I got to get home and eat, feed. What? Are you ready to get going? No? I thought you are hungry. Mom's getting hungry. I want some shrimp. Try to stop your awakening. Well, oh yeah, back to the reading. We're gonna try to stop your awakening. That dude's a douchebag. Somebody's a douchebag too, okay? Somebody's a douchebag. What else, Spirit? What's us going on here? You're gonna have some kind of achievement, okay? Because all the stress that they're doing to you, everything that they're doing to you, all these blockages, all this drama, all this chaos, all these interruptions, interruptions, you're like, you're going to have some big achievement, okay? You're going to get number one. You're going to be successful. You're going to go viral. You're going to freaking grow. You're going to have freaking 100,000 subscribers. You're going to have 5,000 subscribers. Whatever's going to happen, okay? You're going to get that raise. You're going to get that promotion. Whatever's going to freaking happen, you're going to get it. 
Okay, you're going to get it. Because they keep dwelling on you. They keep they try to keep blocking you and bringing you on a downfall. You're going to freaking get it. You're going to get it. You're going to get something big. Something big. Big, big, big coming in for you. Something wonderful. Yep. Yep. Because all your hard work, all your labor is going to pay off. All, everything is going to pay off. Everything's going to pay off. You're not going to have to work for a month because of this payment, okay? Somebody's going to get a big, big donation, a big raise or whatever. Something that's going to make this. You, can, you don't even have to work a whole month. You could just take off. Okay, or you could take two months off, three months off. Somebody's gonna get something big where you're just gonna be able to take a nice big vacation and you're not gonna have to stress about paying bills. You're not gonna have to stress about this and that because of this person. It's gonna come. It's gonna come. Self love. Self love. Somebody's gonna get like a big donation or something big coming in because, okay, karma. Karma is gonna hit this person. Karma is gonna hit you, but in a good way. Okay? Karma, karma can be a negative or positive thing. Everything you do, you keep working and working and working. You're not worried about other people. And you're going to get something big in coming in for you. Something beautiful. And they're going to see their whole life fall apart. They're going to have the big downfall. They're, they're, things are going to shit on their life. Okay, they're gonna, Their life's going to be shitty. Very, very shitty. Because they're shitting on your life. Or a rich guy. You can be a rich guy too. Because you're in your north node. You're supposed to be in your north node. They're trying to stop that. Okay? They're trying to stop that. Priestess. Inner knowing. Starseed. Yeah. Just keep doing what you're freaking doing. Okay? Keep doing what you're doing. Positive things. Okay? Keep doing what you're doing. Okay? Let this vindictive bitch fall down. Let this vindictive bitch go to jail. Let this vindictive bitch lose her life. Lose her job or his job or whatever. Or his career. Lose her kids or his kids. Have this legal. See? She or he's going to have some legal troubles, okay? Big legal troubles. Big, big legal troubles. Because they keep fucking with you. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I, I can feel it, I hear it, and like, they're, they're keep fucking with you, and you're divine feminine or divine masculine, okay? You need to stop. I'm getting heated, I'm getting worked up, and the reason I'm getting heated and worked up is because us chosen one of the stars, she's light workers that are actually in our purpose, doing what we're supposed to be doing, we keep getting fucked over. And shit on because these arrogant people e e e oh i don't even know evil wicked people there's an officer coming into this person this person getting arrested it could be a singer or rapper okay you could be a singer or rapper maybe you do music on uh, youtube or anything okay or this could be a singer or rapper that could be stealing from you taking from you and the singer or rapper could go in. wow we have officer in jail I might, like, I was going to take some more, but here, we'll take more. Um, the names here is Vocal Victoria. We have Ball, Ball and Chain Charlie, Officer Otis. We have Big Top Teddy. We have a clown, crazy clown. Some psychopath, okay, some psychopath, Teddy. And we have Marcy Mermaid. We have mermaid energy, water energy, okay? This could be a siren too, okay? This person could be a siren, like luring people in, okay? Luring to the, to their death, and they're going to end up being lured to their death. Damn, I'm heated. I got heated. I got heated because I'm sick of seeing, I'm sick of seeing the collective, the chosen ones, the light workers, the star seeds, being affected by this, being, getting hit by this, being shit on. It's not fair. You shouldn't have to get shit on every day. You shouldn't have to keep uh, working hard. Chosen ones, light workers. If you're stepping in, you're, if you're in your north pro, north node and you're in your purpose and you're doing what you love, you shouldn't have to work so hard. You shouldn't have to freaking be distracted so much. Like, things shouldn't be happening in your life so much. Like you should be living happy. You should be at peace. You just have to stop. It could be a bro that's doing this too, and there could be somebody getting arrested. Okay. This vindictive is yeah, I'm just trying to vindictive bitch getting arrested. I can't why, like, I, I'm not this kind of type of person. I just want to, this, whoever this vindictive bitch man is, I want to go up and slap them, silly, okay? I'm not a physical person, but I just want to, like, slap some net sense into them. Be like, come on, stop. Stop. When are you going to stop? Are you going to ever freaking stop? Because every time you keep doing this to us, you just keep you just keep going back on you. And you're causing more, you're trying to cause pain in our lives, but you're causing more pain in your life. You know, I'm not going to slap anybody, but that's not just what, that's like what I want to do. I just want to slap this person. We have initial E coming out. 
They're always going to get caught up. Cherish, we got to go. I got to go home and make dinner. I'm really hungry. This could be your cousin. He'd be a Leo. They'll never change. I'm sorry. This is a narc empath. Um, paradigm. Could be a false twin. And they're having money troubles. I'm trying to cause you have money troubles, they're gonna have money troubles. They have an entity attachment and addictions. Initial C. Initial X. I love you guys. I do. I love you guys so much. Love, peace, light, happy. Or, oh my gosh, can you say it? I hope you guys have a really good day. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, tell them namaste.